Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Chris here again, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the hard drive and the RAM in a 2011 MacBook Pro. If you want to find out why I'm working on uh, like an older computer like this, you'll have to check out the video I'm going to be working on next week. Let's get started. Alright, so you see I've just got my screwdriver here, it's just a Phillips head. Um, my RAM and my SSD. Just flip the Mac over and start unscrewing each of these. Um, there's one in each corner as well as on the sides, just all around the bottom. Just be careful, this is definitely the kind of thing we want to use the right size screwdriver. You don't want to strip the screws on the bottom of your MacBook. All right, now that all the screws are out, just lift the back off, comes right off really easily. And that's it, that's the inside of your MacBook. Um, the fan in this is really clean. I just bought this used and like, they actually must have opened this up and cleaned the fan because that's crazy clean. Um, here's your hard drive and here's the RAM. Let's do the hard drive first. So you'll see here there's actually four screws holding it in. You gotta take those out. Definitely don't lose the screws either. My favorite thing for not to, to make sure I don't lose the screws is to put them down in like the same shape they are in the thing you're taking them out of. If that makes any sense. So for example, if you take out four screws that are just in the corners, I would just take them out and put them in kind of the four corresponding corners. All right, now this is actually the piece that connects the hard drive. Be really careful when you pick it up not to break that because I like almost just snapped it right off and then you'd be screwed. This is a SATA connector on a ribbon cable. This is the hard drive, don't need that anymore. Let's bust open our SSD. So the SSD is gonna give this thing a big performance increase and it's also <clears throat> technically it's going to improve the battery life and make the computer a little bit lighter just by the actual physical weight but uh, the big thing will be the performance it's going to make it boot up a lot faster it's going to make programs launch faster really just going to make every part of it faster and it's it's actually crazy how light this is but just reconnect it to this sata connector and just put it right back in place there that was really painless. Put these four screws back in. And just drop this bracket on back in place. All right, that's the hard drive done. It was as easy as that. Now on for the RAM. You see here, these are these kind of spring-loaded clips. You just pull these outwards, and then the RAM pops up. So in here right now is two two gigabyte sticks for a total of four gigs. And I'm gonna be replacing it with two four gig sticks for a total of eight gigs. Perfect. All right, now we got our RAM here. We're just gonna do the same thing, but the opposite. So just make sure your pins line up, and obviously you have to make sure it's the right type of RAM. Um, you, you can tell easily if it's the right way or not, because there's a short side and a long side, and in here you can see there's a little tiny notch. So you can tell this is the short side and this is the long side. Put the bottom in first. If you put the top one in, you can't get to the bottom one, so. 
you'd have to just take it out and put it in again. Just push down on it and it'll lock in place. That's good to go. And now the top one. And again, just push down. And that's locked in place too. So there we go, our eight gig of RAM is installed and our 128 gig SSD is installed. Just place this back on the top. It goes on really easily. All right, now all that's done, I'm booting it up, and we should see our eight gigs of RAM, which is actually faster than the original RAM. The original RAM was uh, 1,333 megahertz. This is 1,600 megahertz. And as long as it all shows up, it's good to go. If you're wondering how I reinstalled OS X, it was using the internet recovery tool. You can check out how to do that in my video here. And here we can see 1,600 megahertz of eight gigabytes DDR3 RAM. That's awesome. Everything's all set, and obviously the SSD is working because we're booting from it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped. If you do have any other questions, let me know with a comment. Other than otherwise, let me know your thoughts with a comment, or a like, or a dislike. Subscribe if you really, really liked it. I'd actually appreciate that very much. And if you want to watch something else, check out this video. I haven't yet decided what it's going to be.